Okay, this is me testing. It's been a minute since I've posted anything. And that's because work, like the work that keeps the roof over my head and medical issues um, have kept me a little busy, as well as something else that I'm really excited to share. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I have a friend who I interviewed on the channel. Her uh, interview is gonna be posted here. Shortly, a little clip, little the little card in the corner. That's the interview, go watch it who invited me to include some of my embroidery pieces in an exhibit for Black History Month at the Rosa Parks Museum in Montgomery, Alabama. So I've also been busy working on those pieces. They're 14 by 14 canvases. It's a four part series called Black Women Speak. And what happened was early in the pandemic, I was noticing quotes in the wake of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd and things that I was experiencing at work and this whole push to listen to black women and believe black women finally. And I just felt inspired to capture those quotes um, in embroidery form. So that's what I've been doing and something I never thought would happen, which is they would be on display in a public place is actually happening for Black History Month next month. So this is just a short video uh, sharing that great news and I will be posting the information, uh, not in the show notes because I don't have it yet. Um, it's an in-person exhibit. Obviously during COVID, they're gonna also have virtual tours of it. And it's a long slide, a long slide, Ooh. alongside this wonderful exhibit by my friend who invited me to join her in this endeavor called Veiled. And she is a fantastic photographer. So I would encourage you to um, visit the exhibit virtually if it is safe by the time before February is over, maybe pop in in person, but given America's COVID numbers, I don't think it will be. Um, and I encourage you to donate to the Rosa Parks Museum. They do a great job in preserving the leg legacy of Mrs. Parks. So that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye.